à tous des DDO, attention pour les décomptes finales. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Allumage moteur Vulcan. Allumage EAB. Décollage. Tous les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. Fin de la manœuvre en roulis, la trajectoire est nominale. There's a new rumble in the Amazon jungle and that's the mighty Amazon uh, Ari Ariane 5, rather, the ECA, as she roars out to where Devil's Island. I get so excited because it's my eighth time here. It still takes my breath away every time I see it. A minute into the flight, Ariane 5 has already broken the sound barrier here in Karu and just done. There we can feel it. The massive Jupiter facility literally shaking us. 1,300 tons of thrust break the Ariane 5 free from the bonds of gravity. I tell you, I, I get thrilled every time this happens. 90% of the power coming from the two boosters, 100 feet tall, burning 240 tons of solid propellant in less than two minutes, uh, better than two tons a second. When the boosters have done their job, and that will be in uh, less uh, than a minute from right now, Ariane will be 45 miles in the sky, racing away at over a mile a second faster than a bullet. Information coming down to Galliot, the tracking station on the big hill uh, behind us here at Jupiter. And uh, we can see from the screen that everything is going well. The next major event is the burnout and jettison of those two solid rocket boosters. Uh, that is scheduled uh, to occur at two minutes and 20 seconds into flight. So about uh, five seconds from right now, despite the clouds, we might actually be able to see it uh, when uh, those separate. Let's watch the screen. And there's the call from the DDO that the boosters have done their job. We don't need them anymore. Talk about losing weight. The Ariane 5 was 775 tons on the pad, down now to 180 tons. In the rocket business, when you get lighter, you go faster. And Ariane 5 is moving out right now, a little over two kilometers per second, 90 kilometers up into the sky. Uh, our target speed tonight is 9.3 kilometers per second. Next up on the list of major events will be the jettison of the fairing. It's protected the satellites on the ground and in the early phases of flight. After liftoff, we don't need it anymore. And uh, very shortly, it is going to be separated. We're over 100 kilometers up in space. So we don't need that uh, two-ton fairing. And there you see on the animation, the fairing has gone away. The DDO has confirmed it. Take a look at these pictures uh, from an earlier uh, mission, and you'll see what it looks like as the fairing uh, heads back uh, toward Earth. And uh, right now, uh, the main cryogenic stage, or the EPC, is doing the heavy lifting, and uh, it is the Vulcan engine that's gulping 320 kilograms worth of fuel a second, 500 tons.